Well, a bill that would restrict how subjects like race and racism are taught in the classroom passed the Tennessee House today. The measure would pull funding from school districts that teach about inequalities or and racial or sexist privilege. Local 24 News reporter Jenny DiPrizio breaks it down. Several states have either banned or are trying to ban what's called critical race theory from being taught in schools. It's a move that's upset some Memphis lawmakers and parents. This is just, for lack of a better word, disappointing. Dinesha Fields doesn't understand why some Tennessee lawmakers would want to punish school districts for simply telling the truth. Fields is a Memphis parent and a member of Memphis Lift, a parent group that's dedicated to improving education in our area. To want to discourage teaching proper history for all students is, is ludicrous. Though the words critical race theory are not specifically used in the bill, according to the legislation, schools couldn't promote instruction that the United States is fundamentally racist or that a person's sex or race is inherently privileged. As you can imagine, some Memphis lawmakers object to this legislation. Taking the discussion of race, ethnicity, discrimination, biases, out of the classroom does a disservice not merely to the students, but to the very principles that our country was formed on. We can't suppress the, the, the horrific or the bad because it makes us uncomfortable. We need to tell the whole truth about our history in our state. Every educator should be able to have in-depth conversations with their students about race issues in America because race will not go away. Black Americans fighting for justice will not go away. Supporters say the bill does allow impartial discussion of controversial aspects of history. Republican Representative Mark White from Memphis summed it up this way. This is a bill that says do unto others as you want others to do unto you and love your neighbors yourself and stop the blame game. The bottom line says one Memphis parent, either way in the end, it's the students who will suffer. To want to put a ban and to hold funding from the schools is, is disheartening. A spokesperson for Shelby County Schools says the district is aware of the pending legislation and if it becomes law, the district will assess its potential impact on Shelby County Schools. Jenny DePrizia, Local 24 News.